Welcome guys back to the Crazy Hands Knitting and Crocheting channel. In this video tutorial we are going to learn how to knit flat as you see. Uh, we have seam here on the heel and one seam here, flat slippers. This time I did them with cables. Really easy and you can done them within one evening because we are going to use a bulky yarn. For these slippers uh, I'm going to use 5.5 just a second 5.5 millimeters uh, knitting needles and the yarn any bulky yarn I'm going to use color made easy online brand and you will need less than 100 grams less so about 90 or 95 you can knit the slippers for any size so i will show you calculations for the size us size 7 which is uh, 24 centimeters length and usually from 24 from the length we sub, uh, subtract 10 percent and the length of the sole from this point till this one have to be equal 21 and a half centimeters because as you see the sock is stretchy especially because we are using garter stitch here the width for the slipper from this point till this point until we sew it equal 18 19 or 20 centimeters you see it's also stretchy so you can use any number like 18 19 or 20 centimeters so that's it uh, if you want to try knitting the slippers with me you're welcome and let's get started using long tail custom method cast on 30 stitches and please leave a long tail like long like at least 15 centimeters we are going to use it to sew the heel so slip the first stitch the first row then purl one after that knit all stitches So now you need six and place the stitch marker if you want. After pro one you need six and place the stitch marker. So it will be easier to make cable twists. Now you need uh, 14. So this is the central part. it until you have eight stitches oops let's count one two three four eight now place another stitch marker and again knit six purl one and purl the last salvage stitch turn row number two this is the wrong side slip the first stitch knit one now purl three then knit next 20 stitches 
and three before stitch marker then 14 till the next stitch marker Now after stitch marker three more, so in total we need 20. Now purl three. Need one and purl the last salvage stitch, we always purl it, like this, turn, and now we are going to repeat the first row, slip the first stitch, purl one, knit six, or knit 26, just saying knit six because it's before the first stitch marker, so in total we need 26 slip after this stitch marker need six so so in total we need 26. At the end purl one and purl the last stitch. Salvage stitch. Turn. And now repeat row number two. Slip the first stitch, knit one, then purl three. Knit 20, Pearl three, knit one, and pearl the last stitch. Now you're going to repeat once more round number, row number five will be the same as row number one, then turn and row number six will be the same as row number two. So knit two more rows. I've done in total six rows and in the row number seven we are going to make first cable twist and for this you will need an extra needle or a cable needle. So slip the first stitch, row one, now slip next three stitches to the extra needle and hold them in front. Now knit three from the left hand needle and knit three from the extra needle. And this is the left leaning cable twist. Now knit 14 or knit till the next stitch marker. And again, slip next three stitches, but already hold them in back. Cut 
because we, have, we will make a right linear cable twist. Now knit 3 from the left hand needle. And then knit 3 from the extra needle. Do more extra needle. Now you see right linear cable twist, curl one and curl the last salvage stitch. And that's what we have. Turn. And now the last row, row number eight, after that we will repeat, will be the same as row number two. Slip the first stitch, knit one, curl three, then knit, knit 20, Now curl three, then knit one and curl the last salvage stitch. That's it. Now you're, we are going to repeat these eight rows, making left leaning and right leaning cable twists. So you start again, the next row will be the same as the row number one. Then turn and repeat row number two. And don't forget that in row number seven, you will make first left leaning cable twist and then right leaning cable twist. Go on repeating these eight uh, rows until your slipper reaches 21 and a half or even 20 centimeters will be enough for whatever size you are knitting for. Here I am and at this moment 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I've done seven repetition and I stopped at this point. If, for example, you think that this length is not enough, you can go on knitting, for example, repeating row number one and two, or maybe one, two, three, and four, and then stop. Now we will make two rows of decreases. So slip the first stitch, curl one, and now knit two together, knit one and go on repeating till the end. Knit two together, knit one. Remove stitch markers, you don't need them anymore. Again, knit two together, knit one, knit two together, knit one, till the end. Knit two together, knit one, knit two together, knit one here, knit two together, at the end, curl one and curl the last salvage stitch. And one more row with decreases. Slip the first stitch, knit one and knit two together, knit two together till the end, knit two together, after that again knit two together, knit two together,
feels it and And then you have just knit one, then one more knit stitch and draw the last selway stitch. That's it. Now you can cut the yarn and leave at least 20-25 centimeters tail. Oh, it's too long, but okay. I'm going to use a yarn needle so you see that the working yarn is sticking from the left side slip from the right side remaining stitches Last one. Ooh. The same what we are doing when we are knitting a flat hat. I'm going to pull the tail one more time underneath the remaining stitches like this. Just one, once more. Here. Perfect. And now we are going to seam the slipper on top. So now find the salvage stitch and then two bars you see between two salvage stitches and between the next pearl stitch you see two bars. And that these two bars we are going to use to join two edges. So here one, two selvage stitches and between two bars. So let's start on this side and on this side. So it, it, it's not that clear, but it will be better with next. So here, two bars here. It's really easy and here and insert the needle from right to left like this and the next one between two salvage stitches here and again here and here you can pull a little bit tail but not too much and between these silly stitches a little bit pulling tail and then pull a little bit back One, two, and between two bars. So I hope it's clear. Go on seaming. So until you have from from the end opening that will be equal eleven centimeters. Please measure it and seam the slipper until 
until this point. So let's try. And that's how it looks. I simply measured 11 centimeters, or you can actually try, it is better if you're needing the slippers for yourself, just try whether it's comfortable. So it needs one, two, three, four, four repetition and a little bit more, maybe two more rows. And now we will work and see uh, the heel. You remember at the beginning I asked you, you to leave a tail. If you didn't do it, don't worry, just attach. And here we're going to work just picking up this stitch and the same stitch on this side. You can work through ridges. So the next one is here. So this is the third and the fourth. Like this. Let's do it till the end. You can seam the heel till the end, or you can leave you can leave eight stitches, four stitches on one side and four stitches on another side. You will see I will do it, and we will make the heel a little bit rounded without sharp corners. Okay, so when you have at least, so it's about, yeah, eight stitches, just gather these eight stitches together in this way. Pull the tail. And like this. Pull the tail through the stitches one more time if you want. And now pull the tail on the wrong side and weave in ends. So here or here. That's it, and cut the yarn after. Let's try it. And look, look at the heel, cute one, and the slipper. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial with me. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, Share this video with others. It's usually the written instruction you can find on my blog. Please check the link down. 
If you are needing uh, any of my patterns, please don't forget to tag me in your social medias. Uh, I'm always happy to see your projects. I wish you all a good day and see you soon.